In this episode of Internauts Go, we're going to do like the Dino Riders and mix technology with prehistoric beasts. So, stick around. Hello, fellow dorks and dorkettes, and welcome to Internauts Go! In this episode, we're going to focus on the dinosaur toys that I talked about in the Best Dinosaur Toys of the 80s episode, and we're going to see how much they go for nowadays. I'm expecting that most of these go for a pretty penny because they were just so awesome. So without further ado, let's dive into the interwebs and see how much a dinosaur costs us nowadays. Okay, folks, here we are at eBay our usual stomping ground for finding the prices of things like this. Now, like I said in the episode, a lot of these I would love to have in my collection. So I wonder if it is actually feasible to own any of these. I can say that a couple years ago, I looked into some of these and the prices were enough to drive you mad, honestly. So let's see if things have changed, if they've gotten worse, and let's start with the first thing on our list, the Land Before Time hand puppets from Pizza Hut. So let's put that in there. Land Before Time puppets. And as usual, we just go by best match and go from there because if you start looking at every little minute detail in the search you could be there forever so we're just <coughs> excuse me hitting this hard and fast and seeing just a ballpark of how much these things go for okay first thing on the list we have one two three four five looks like we have ducky spike sharp tooth sarah and little foot get all Five of them for $28. Well, 13 bids on it with six hours left with $8.85 shipping. Here's another one with the five of them. Buy it now for $14 with $15.20 shipping. Well, I'd honestly say go for this one over this. Yeah, you're going to pay a couple dollars more, but who knows how crazy this will get with 13 bids going on it. That shipping's what's crazy. Here we go. Here's five of them for 26, eight bids. It's got Petrie. The other ones didn't have him. Buy it now, 45 for five of them. Here's a complete set, $33, $12 shipping, seven bids on it, one day, well, yeah, one and a half days left on it. Here's one with that bat from Eureka's Castle. $30, six hours left, 10 bucks for these three. I'd actually do that, I mean, Forget the shipping nonsense. I mean, these things are light. I don't know why they would need that much shipping on them. But I had Sarah, and that would be one I would definitely get in my collection just because that was the one I did have. And again, this is 1988. I was 12, going on 13, and I had one of them. I mean, they're awesome. I remember seeing the movie in the theater with my mom, and I bawled like a baby when Littlefoot's mom died. Sorry if that's a spoiler. It happens at the beginning of the movie. Here's a complete set for 70. Here's just one of Petrie for 1050. Who? Here's one with Dinosaur the Movie puppets as well. Just Little Foot for 10 bucks. So 
I'm assuming either people fondly remember these and want them for this price, or yet again, it's just that curse of, it says the 80s, so make it expensive. I think it's a lot of that as well as uh, people fondly remembering this movie. And these, you know, incentives. Whoa, look at that. Remember when McDonald's had those type of puppets? Sharp tooth. There's Sarah for 20. I would not pay that. Yeah, this seems like a normal case of people cashing in on nostalgia, which is something we all suffer from trying to collect this stuff from our youth. Unless you really luck out. I mean, like things like this pop up in bins at flea markets and yard sales. Because they were just stuff from a Happy Meal. So people, well, I use that term generically. But they were just things from a restaurant. Here's two little foots for ten. Or that'd be little feets. Little feet, little foots. Here's one with Spike. That figure looks nice. Figure. Puppet. So yeah, crazy prices. Crazy, crazy. So now let's go to Definitely Dinosaurs. I spelled definitely wrong, apparently. There we go. I'm a horrible speller. There we go, 20 bucks for just the T-Rex. 18.99 or best offer for these three, that's pretty cool. But none of them come with the little uh, cavemen dudes. Now, most of them have articulation. I wonder why this one doesn't. Sucks to be them. 12.50. 18 hours left on this bid. But 17.56 shipping. That's where they get you. Look at this. Oh, come on. Get a couple dinos. Look at all the cavemen you get. I like that dude. He looks like a circus strong man. That's not really a bad price. Now here's a whole lot with big ones for 75. I'm on. Aren't you going to enlarge? There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them and five cavemen. Seems a little pricey when you consider the one above that we looked at. This one. Twelve ninety nine just for three cavemen. I think I would be happy just with some of the cavemen, to be honest. To me, they're iconic looking. I mean, when I see them, I instantly know where it came from and a time in my life of seeing them in the stores. Wow, here's one still in the package. Sixty seven ninety eight with nine fifty economy shipping. 
See, that's the scam. And when I do search for stuff for myself, and I have time to search things out, I put in no shipping. Because that's the scam. Because if you sell something for less than what you want for it, you know you're going to make up for it with a high shipping cost. Like, oh, I'll sell you this for a dollar, but it's $30 shipping because they know that's non-negotiable. They set that price. Now, the dollar, your bidding can go either way where you either get the dollar or it goes up in price. So they know that that shipping price is unnegotiable, not negotiable, and they get that. So I view that as a big scam. Wow, look at this. Here's the cavemen that were sold in blister packs. I forgot to mention that in the episode, but they sold the cavemen. Look at that. Two for a dollar. They were just giving these away. Look at their names. Cronar, Dron, Thrax, Zorg, Druze, Zindar. That's awesome. 50 bucks for three in package. That doesn't seem that crazy to me. Here's $10.99 for one. Look, still two for a dollar. Six dollar shipping. Not bad. Fifteen bucks plus five seventy shipping. See, that's not crazy. For five figures. I might have to circle the wagons back on this and look at some of these figures. Like I said, I could do without the dinosaurs, but the, the cavemen, I don't know. I got a soft spot in my heart for them. So, let's look, look up Dinobots. We did recently when we looked up Slag. And we saw that they can be pretty reasonably priced. Look at that. Grimlock, mint and sealed box, $44.94. Probably a, uh, a newer version, but still not bad. Here's 62 for Grimlock. Here's Snarl, Generation 2, because he's got the red body. $34.99. Oh, here's Swoop from $85 for $40. Snarl for $40. See, these ones in the boxes almost seem more worth it to me. Oh, $15.50. With 495 shipping, 18 hours left. Am I signed in? No. So I'll have to circle the wagons back on that too, because that seems very fair to me, and I want him. Here's one from 93, not the same. Here's Swoop, Power of the Primes version. I actually have that. Vintage 84, from 1984, and they want 10 bids in, 1750, two days left. Free shipping, not too shabby. I mean, these seem pretty pricey, but when I looked up a specific one, it's very cheap. I mean, this was just sold in stores not that long ago. 60 bucks. Are you kidding me? Two years ago, I could have gotten him. 
but I didn't because I'm holding out for getting the original G1. So anyway, let's look up Bone Age. Excuse me, I need a drink. Uh, excuse me. Here's a T-Rex. It must be missing some pieces if they don't have it standing together. With Crag the Clubber figure, 20 bucks. Here's a Dionychus with Zur from the Ice Clan, 50. Here's just a Lava Clan dude still in the package for 50. Here's 30 for that one. 20 for four figures. What's this? Burger King toys, skeleton mastodon. 160 bucks. Two hundred and fifty for one still in the box. Two fifty still in the box. Here's a pterodactyl for ninety. No box, but comes with instructions. Pterodactyl for 50. 200 for three of them. Here's the Burger King ones, $50 for three of them. A Triceratops for 90. You can get this dude in the box for 90. T-Rex, Bone Age, 40 bucks, buy it now. Missing his figure though. Whew, there's the Pterodactyl, $595. Rare, unused condition, whew. Here's just a bunch of bones for 275. Wow, this is a line that I probably will never be able to get. These prices are crazy. And the amount of them still in the boxes. That that's amazing. Ooh, look at that. Crocodile dude. 25. 10 just for a little figure. 16 just for the head. Dude, looks like AJ Styles. Kind of like Conan O'Brien if it was red, that hair. Whew, that's definitely a line I won't be collecting. So... This is just for fun, Dino Saucers. Look at that, 280 for six of them still in the boxes. stupid mouse. That actually does not seem that crazy of a price. Still in the box, all six. Then when you get down to this dude, $345 just for that. $100 just for that. Here's a PVC for $200. Complete set of six for $169. Five, $55 shipping, though. That's from Brazil, but still. Six of them for $255 shipping. 
Here's six of them. Look at these two packs. If I had the money, I definitely would buy them. But the thing is, I don't have the money. Not many do when it comes to something this expensive. But these two packs, that looks nice. Sixty a piece, about with eight dollars shipping. Now, some of these aren't must be the real vintage ones because they aren't being offered in these two packs, like this dude. Bronto Thunder. Some bootlegs. Yeah. Super expensive, but super cool. Now, the last entry on this is Dino Riders. And I'm expecting these to be super expensive as well. Dino Riders Rulon Warriors Battle Pack. This is, yeah, I see this is a recent thing. 20 bucks. $150. Get all these figures. Let's look at it close up, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dinosaurs. Oh, look at all those glorious alien figures. Expensive, but I'm not hating the price. Here's one with the box and everything for two twenty-five. Twenty-two bucks for all these figures. Oh, look at all those great aliens. Let's get a close-up, shall we? Close-up, please. Fine, be that way. Fifty. Cyracosaurus with heroic turret figure. Actually, these prices go all over the place. I mean, they tend to be expensive. Look, here's these two packs that they sold. Oh, look, puzzles. That'd be neat to get, 25 bucks. Let's get a close-up, shall we? Hopefully it works. That's cool. That's neat artwork. That'd be cool just to bag and board it and have it hanging on the wall. 25 bucks, not bad price for two of them. $14.99 just for a figure, yikes. Yeah, these are super expensive. I mean, 30 for that, but it's missing a figure. Who knows what else it's missing? Probably more guns. Because it looks like the guns should come off of this. Oh, look, they're friends. They're holding hands. Hammerhead and Sidewinder. BFFs. 
36. Seventy five, three hundred, gee whiz. Mm. So, anyway, whew, like I thought, a lot of the ones that I'd really would like to get are super expensive. I mean, yeah, stuff from the 80s is getting old and yeah, it's going to go up in price, but I still think that people are gouging us for our nostalgia. And that's one of the reasons why I even do this, is just to marvel at these prices. I mean, you have better luck just st staking out on your own and hitting flea markets and little vintage shops and just yard sales. And I mean, it's hard for someone like me to actually get out and do those things especially now in the way the world is at this moment. But, I mean, just with kids, I can't really be dragging them to these places. And one day, maybe. But for right now, this is the only way I have to take a look at these things. I hope one day I can hit flea markets and stuff and bring a camera along and invite you all. And we can have a good time. You know, just like a virtual hangout at the mall day. Um, do some window shopping and whatnot. But anyway, that was just looking at the best dinosaur toys from the 80s and how much they cost nowadays. Um, the definitely dinosaurs were cheaply priced, Land Before Time, give or take that. Uh, the Dinobots, yeah, you can find some of them pretty cheap, which is surprising. But Bone Age, Dino Saucers, and Dino Riders, no way, Jose. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here, and you enjoyed this, or any of the episodes that YouTube is recommending down below, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll be notified whenever there's a new episode. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching! Keep being rad and stay dorky.